So how good can a V-style carbon fiber rear diffuser for your F8X be from China for $268? Actually really good. This is the V-style carbon fiber rear diffuser that I got on AliExpress for $268 and $53 shipping for a grand total of about $320. It's made by a company called JC Sportline. Uh, they're a factory in China that makes uh, carbon fiber parts for a number of different vehicles. And as you can see, this thing's beautiful. <clears throat> I'll give you a close-up shot here. You can see the weave is good. The quality is excellent. You can see this is real carbon fiber. It's really light. And here's one of the side V pieces. This is the view from the back. And as you can see, same high quality carbon fiber. And it has these mounting holes that mount through there. Now I know a lot of people have reservations about ordering stuff from China because they think it's you know cheap Chinese junk, but there's a lot of things made in China there's a lot of high quality things made in China, like the iPhone that's probably in your pocket. This is no different. This is a high quality carbon fiber piece. And I guarantee you that this is the same diffuser that's being sold on eBay for $500 or more. And it's the same diffuser that's being sold by those you know lesser known performance companies on forums and uh, Facebook groups. They're just importing stuff from China and selling to you for more money because that's how e-commerce works but you can go ahead and cut out the middleman order from aliexpress yourself aliexpress is kind of like the amazon of china they have all kinds of guarantees they have they handle the payment you know it's not like uh the seller has your credit card information they handle the payments and it works kind of like amazon uh, it works kind of like how amazon does when amazon takes your payment for another third-party seller on Amazon. So as you can see, this thing is very high quality. And I'll show you again. And I can't wait to get this on the car because this completes, this is gonna complete the car. This is something that should have came on the car. It gives it that less bit of aggression that the F82 needs. All right guys, so we're out in the garage. We got the car ready. We got Ghost helping. Let's get down to it. So the first thing we're gonna install is the main piece. Um, it comes with these really big screws and they're not self-tapping. So you could pre-drill and use these, but the thing about pre-drilling is a lot of the time when you pre-drill, the screw will go in a different way from where you drilled and can pull the piece one way or the other. So it's probably better to use these self-tapping screws, which have a cutting edge on the top and they will self-tap in there and hold it into the position that you put it in originally. I also got these washers to go along with it. You see these are uh, number 10, three quarter inch self-tapping screws. You can get them at any hardware store around you. And then I got number 10 uh, washers and that just helps uh, equally distribute the force onto the carbon fiber so it doesn't crack um, when you mount it. And that's for these holes I'm talking about. And you can see the hole there is about the size of a dime. If you're not in the United States, it's about the size of a US dime because I don't know what your money looks like. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to get under the car. The OEM lip is here. The OEM diffuser is here. And you're going to want to remove uh, this screw here. It's an 8 millimeter. And an identical one on the other side. 8 millimeter screw. And then it's just clipped in here. Actually looks like this clip is removed on mine and the thing's broken and the thing's broken on this side too so apparently it looks like mine was removed before 
I don't know why, but there we go. Like I said, these clips are already broken for some reason. Undo those two clips on the bottom there. Go ahead and displace that. Go ahead and displace that side. If you do that, you kind of want to pull it forward and then your trunk will open. Out. You're doing a good job helping Ghost. <laughs> Alright guys, when you get it off, this is what you're gonna see. The tabs go in here. That's where they lock in. If you ever wondered how the car knows you're kicking at the trunk to open it, this looks like this is the uh, microwave sensor. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. So my, I realized that the OEM diffuser mounts here, but you actually have to take this screw off because this is where the carbon fiber one is going to mount. So the one that's right next to it. So we're ready to mount. And you're gonna want to mount these clips in first by kind of putting it in down and then push it forward. So line it up. You gotta make sure it's going into the lip up here. So I would make sure that both sides are going in there loosely before you start pushing anything in. All right, and looks like I got both above first. You got that seated. So next you're going to take your OEM screw and you're going to screw it into that second. Go ahead and screw this in. If it wasn't obvious, don't use your high impact torque driver to do this because you will destroy it. All right, and that's in. Let's put you to the other side. Get it started. Eight millimeter driver. And that is installed. And there's the first part. 
The best part about it is it mostly covers up the muffler hanging out the bottom, which is one of the stupidest things about this car. And as you can see, there's some overhang, which flares out towards the ends here. Car is dirty, I know. So being this is the first time I installed this, I installed the side piece myself here just to make sure I know what I'm doing before I show you guys. And as you can see, got that installed good. So I noticed when you want, you want to kind of make sure you're lining up this edge, this edge, and without making too much of a gap here. But it looks pretty good. All right, I'll show you how. Try to break out the jack to actually have enough room to get into there and drill. Um, so go ahead and jack up the car. Obviously don't work under a jack that's not supported by anything else. And as you can see, the jacking point is that block there. You might wanna get one of these aluminum BMW jack pad adapters. It fits into that block. So you can jack it up without damaging anything. As you can see, it looks like the car was jacked up before, not using the block. And you can see all the damage on it. I'm just trying to stop here. In case the jack fails, I can get out in time before I crush myself. You can see I did polish all of the pieces up before I started. And I use this HD Speed all-in-one correction glaze. Um, it's a polish and a sealant in one. It was recommended by some detailers. I know a lot of detailers don't like all-in-one stuff, but it works pretty well for being all-in-one. All right, so we're gonna attach this. Uh, in case you guys are wondering what these dimples are for, they're actually to accommodate the attachment mount, uh, point of the main part of the diffuser and then these two bolts so that it doesn't push them down. So the first thing you need to do is you're gonna mock fit it up here and you're gonna get some painter's tape and you basically wanna watch for the corner over here. You wanna make sure that's, that's flush with the wheel well. And then you also wanna make sure that that is flush in the V with the edge of the back of the car and kind of have this all even throughout. <clears throat> Secondly, when you line it up, you want to make sure that you don't have too much of a gap where these two pieces meet. It should look something like that. I don't know how much noise this stuff is gonna make um, touching. If it makes a lot of noise, I'll find, I'll, I'll figure out what to do with that, but that's what you wanna do. So you're gonna get some painter's tape and, and tape those up. So the best way to do this is you're gonna start by just putting a piece there to support the front, which you're probably going to adjust. And you're gonna put a piece here on the rear. And obviously clean under here before you start. All right. Start back here.
that in place. that in place. Move you guys a bit. Lock that in place. Now, To make some adjustments and also have to make some I mean this is only tape so it's not really holding it in place that great so you gotta kind of just be mindful of that while you're screwing it down see you kind of when you push here back there moves so you got to start I like to start from the edge here and while I'm holding this I'll screw it in so you guys might want to get a really cool headlamp like this to see inside the holes while you're drilling all right so here are the screws with the washer get four of those and I'm going to be using my driver with a magnetic attachment to hold on to the screw. See, holds on to the screw so it doesn't drop. Um, if you're using an impact driver, make sure it's one with the, with the, a very, a uh, quality variable speed like this Milwaukee. If not, use just a drill. Don't use an impact driver cause you're going to strip the shit out of the plastic. So again, when you're doing this one, you kind of just want to hold, you know, just hold your finger here and make sure that it's flush here before you screw it in and just hold it there while you're screwing it in. All right, just on that last one. I'm just gonna lay you guys down and hopefully you can still see. And just get the hole. And once you get the screw in there, kind of just push up so that it indents into the plastic and doesn't walk. Make sure your edge is good and then start going. And you'll feel it once the self-tapping part pops through, you'll feel it pop through and then you'll feel it grab with threads. Obviously, don't tighten it with an impact driver. Don't tighten it with an impact driver. Grab a regular screwdriver. And tighten it with that. This way you can feel. You can feel it snug up. You see a hole in there. And you're just gonna make sure this corner stays flush while you're tightening it.
And that's it, guys. Remove the tape. Diffuser is installed. So as you can see, this diffuser looks amazing. It's ridiculous that it only costs $320. It fits really well. I would say the fitment's about 90 to 95%. I can't see any visible gaps anywhere. It makes the back end of the car look super aggressive. It matches well with my M Performance spoiler. And between the spoiler, the diffuser, and the black competition badge, the back end's looking pretty tight. Check out the card on top for the video I did on swapping over to the competition badge. The only thing left I need to do is get rid of those red reflectors and either get exhaust tips or a new exhaust. So I've made it this far. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps you out. If you are in the market for a V-style diffuser for your M4 or your M3, I have it linked in the description below. Like I said, it's on AliExpress. The seller I bought it from on AliExpress is actually named H Speed KS line, and they actually are a partner distributor for JC Sport line, which I confirmed with JC Sport line. Um, I'll have it linked in the description below. I'll also have anything else I mentioned in the video linked in the description below. If you use the link, it benefits the channel at no extra cost to you. Let me know how you guys think it looks on uh, my M4. If you actually do pick it up, let me know what you think when you get it. I'd love to see some pictures from you guys of it on your M. And also if there's anything else you see on AliExpress that you want me to be the guinea pig for and pick it up to see the quality, uh, let me know down in the comments. If it's something that I wanna put on my car, I'll definitely pick it up and make a video for you guys. If you have any questions about the install, let me know. If you have any questions about uh, AliExpress or buying on AliExpress, let me know uh, down in the comments below or you can email me. So if you found this video helpful, take the three seconds and hit that like button hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bells. I have some other stuff on the way. Next, I'll probably be changing my spark plugs, which are due to be changed. I'll show you how to gap the plugs and how to install those. I also have to change my air filters and I'm gonna get rid of those carbon filters in there, in the air box. And I might change my charge pipes too for the hell of it since I'm taking it apart anyway. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.